Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Yorin Surreal here, and we are going to be playing some West of Loathing. I have never played this before. I have no fucking idea what I'm doing. Let's fucking get into it. Oh, this is neat. Shoot a little. Oh, another point of meat. Virginia Smith. Oh! Change your king? No? Oh! Oh! Ready! Bearway, Cub Marston, Bjorn Garner, Fozzie Smith. Larry Maynard, Larry Moyer, Crane Foss, Jay Moyer, Griffin Cobra, Corbin Smith, Bert McMurdy. Oh, I can just. <laughs> no, we need a Westy name. We need a Westy name. Fuck it. No. I was enjoying that Marston last name. <coughs> we get our meat up to a thousand. I don't know what the fuck that meat is, but... Let's go, boys. What? I had the strangest dream. I was choosing a character class. I assume that's a melee class. I assume this is a ranged class? Because they're... I guess this is a magic class? Well, I like me my magic, so... Magic and cooking are inextricably intertwined and loathing, and the Beanslinger is the mystical master of both. My brain broke. You've heard there's a shortage of cooks out west since the cows came home, due to most of the cooks having been brutally killed by the cows. Oh. What else we got? Snake oilers rely on their moxie and chutzpah to tame snakes, their fearlessness to extract potent oils from those snakes, and their cleverness to manufacture and sell potions made from those oils. You've heard snake oilers are doing really well out west since the cows came home. Everybody needs potions and hope in these dark days, and also out west is where all the best snakes live. <coughs> Cowpunchers solve their problems with their fists, whether it's shaking them at a disagreeable feller in the in a disreputable saloon, or using them to punch a slightly more disagreeable fella in a slightly less reputable saloon. You've heard that cow punches are in demand out west since the cows came home, which stands to reason. The cows aren't going to punch themselves after all. We're going to sling some beans. Let's go. Okay, options. Uh, no. Yeah, don't do that. I mean, it's black and white, so I don't think that's gonna help us much. Uh, you read the spine of one of your books, The Hero of the Terrible Woods. Rufus liked this one as much as I did. Read another title. Edda Smith in a Terrible Outhouse. Rufus liked this one as much as I did. Lou Swift in the Dark Bridge. I read that one ten times. Escape from the Black Cellar. Dad gave me this one when I was a kid. Miracle at Butcher's Outhouse. I love that one. Libby Smith in the Black Hospital. I love that one. Huh? Oh, hey, this one might come in handy. You got an item. Walking Stupid. Okay. Like any, anything else from just spamming? 
Come here. Wait, I'm a lady? Wait, I was a... I swear to God, I was a guy. Hold up. I was a guy, right? Guys, I was a guy, right? I might just be retarded, but I was a guy. What's walking, stupid? Uh, the book tells the tale of a renegade sheriff who is really, really bad at walking. Unlock stupid walking as an option. Read it. Yeah, we're gonna turn you down. You read the book from cover to cover and learned how to walk really stupidly. Stupid walking has been added to your option menus. Nice. You accidentally dropped a book and then ruined it by stepping on it 30 times while you're trying to pick it up. Oops. Um. Um. I'm never walking normal again. Take these both to 80. Birdie! Hey, Russell, how you doing? I'm gonna miss you, buddy. <laughs> feed Russell a cricket. Grab a cricket from your cricket bag and feed it to Russell. He coos appreciatively and nuzzles your hand. Nuzzles your hand. Goodbye, Russell. Be good. I'm gonna walk stupid out west. You open. Aw, letting him out. You open your bedroom window, not pictured, and unlatch the door to Russell's cage. He winks at you, calls one last time, then flies away to the west. It's time to hit the trail. Your living room. What a mess. This hearth really puts hearth in hearth and home. You're gonna miss mom's cooking. Guys, this is this is obnoxious, I'm not gonna lie. We'll turn it on later when I'm done. Yes. It's mom's pie safe. She keeps all her it keeps all her pies safe. You'll miss meals with the family. Your little brother's room. It's covered with all his weird diagrams and charts. You pick You pick up one of your brother's weird books and flip through it. Something about algebra algebraic equations or some shit, I don't know. I think this is about math, maybe? I think this is about math, maybe. What a weird game. Oh, I got a puzzle cube. What's this do? Fiddle with it. <laughs> Your brother already had it most of the way solved, but you figure out the last couple of moves. Uh, hooray! Fiddle with it. You already solved it, and if you mess it up again, it'll be messed up forever. Oh, yeah, that's right. As long as they know. Your mom smiles warmly as you approach. I'm leaving now, Mom. We're gonna miss you, kiddo. Oh, and before you leave, I got you a present. A present? Yep, it's that book you wanted for Crimbo. <laughs> Crimbo. <laughs> I know it's early, but... Um... The one about picking locks? Oh, boy. The one about desert survival? Oh, boy. Or the one about bartering? Oh, boy. Uh... Uh... The one about survive desert survival? Oh boy! That's the one, enjoy it! Desert eating, drinking. Please be careful out there, write us a letter when you can. She hugs you. I will, Mom. Goodbye. Your father morosely jabs at the haystack. That hat doesn't fit you, Dad. I'll grow into it. It's time for me to leave. His whip lip quivers a little. <laughs> Listen, I want you to have this. It's your grandmother's favorite can of beans. You got an item. Can of infinite beans. Thank you. Thanks, Dad. Good. Good luck out there. Be sure to say goodbye to your mother. I did. Goodbye, Dad. Like, is that, like... You'd think that with a can with an unlimited number of beans in, in it... <coughs> you'd think that a can with an unlimited number of beans in it would be pr uh, really exciting. But these beans are pretty terrible. It is a pretty cool thing to carry around, though. You get plus one spell damage, plus one mile, blah, 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 muscle, and plus one moxie. Desert eating, drinking. This book contains everything you need to know to turn the harsh, unforgiving desert into your own personal buffet. And the best part is that buffet also has an open bar. Gives you the fortune skill. Read it. You read the book and learn all short, uh, sorts of tricks for squeezing extra stuff out of cactuses and whatnot. Unfortunately, while practicing your techniques, <laughs> you accidentally squeeze the book into book juice, which it turns out isn't a real thing. Aww. 
Your brother Rufus is standing here looking nervous. He's pretty good at looking nervous. Give him his puzzle back. You hand him the puzzle and he starts fidgeting with it. Hey Rufus, it's time for me to head west. I still don't understand why you're leaving. He's got a point, you know. Why are you going west anyway? Um... Seek my fortune. There's no opportunity here, kid. I'm gonna make something of myself. I gotta go somewhere where I can make some meat. But it's dangerous. 60% of people who go west get killed within a year, and that's this, and that's a, eh, that statistic is from before the cows came home. I'll be okay. You worry about taking care of mom and dad. I'll worry about me. Okay, if you think so. <laughs> if you say so. I still think you'll be dead by Crimbo. I'll miss you, Rufus. Okay. You give him a playful punch on the arm. Jackass. It's a haystack. Dig through it. Hey, a needle. I got a needle. That's one more, more hug before I leave. No, I, I accidentally walked into you. Go west, young woman? Yes. Okay, I guess I did pick a woman. God fucking potatoes. Director, Zach Johnson. I'm on a turnip cart. Cinematographer, Victor Thompson. Film editor, Kevin Simmons. Dialect coach, Riff Connor. Stunt coordinator, Wes Cleveland. Stunt coordinator? Like that one? Key grip, Chris Moyer. <laughs> I'm starting to think half these aren't real things. Boom operator. Ryan Ike. 200 miles later, I got the fucking hiccups. Alright, well the bad news is that you fell off that cart and got knocked out for a couple hours and now you've got no ride, no meat, no prospects. The good news is that you're in a town rather than in a gulch somewhere. Not much of a town though. Get up and dust yourself off. The town of Boring Springs. Oh, a turnip. You've got an item, Dusty Turnip. Oh wow, don't even got a secret for my dog. Chunk of wood from the broken hitching post. I'll take it. The BS Horsery. Gone drinking. Okay, never mind. Oh, there's poop everywhere. Huh? As you walk into the saloon, this crazy-eyed guy is sitting uh, to the left of the door shrieks and waves at you to get your attention. Hey, where's your hat, Dag Nabbit? Well, uh, you can't drink here. You can't drink here without a hat. Tank proper. He points to the take a hat, leave a hat box next to the door. Check out the box. You look through the bo hat box and find a magical black Stetson. Looks like something you'd wear. Grab it. You grab the hat and put it on. Thanks, sir. Pete! Thanks, Pete. Gives you a friendly, if somewhat twitchy nod. Nod. Say, gal. Yeah? You heading west? If you want some company, I'd be more than happy to come along. Just let me know. Well, er, no pressure. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. What do you say, Pete? Who, me? Well, heck, I say all kind of things. For instance, I... <coughs> damn it. I've been mining these mountains longer and a left-handed raccoon can dance a hornpipe. Uh-huh. See you later, Pete. I'm out of here. Alright, don't worry about that when we have meat. He's asleep. Oh, it's Batoon. Wait. Um, what? It's a Spittoon. People spit into it. You know, without even looking at it, that's absolute that it's absolutely disgusting. Look at it. Yeah, it's full of spit. Regular spit, gross tobacco spit, chewing gum. It even looks like a few teeth as well. It's disgusting and the smell. Even from a distance, it smells horrible. Look closer. You are now on your hands and knees, peering into a filth encrusted spittoon. I don't I don't understand what is wrong with you. Wait, is there something shining at the bottom? Get it. You reach your hand toward the spittoon. Even before you touch it, you could feel the grossness in the air, like a greasy fog enveloping the stinking brass horror. It smells like the vomit. <laughs> it smells like the vomit trough at a mesquite barbecue eating contest. You hesitate. Never surrender. <laughs> you, <p> <laughs> you, p 
You plunge your hand into the awful soup. It makes a sound like glop. Your skin is burning. Your eyes start to water. Search. Your fingers make contact with something. You pull your hand out of the devil's tureen slowly, not daring to risk splashing the contents all over yourself. You appear to have gotten some kind of ring, probably some kind of disease as well. Congratulations. You got an item. Nasty ring. Hooray! Oh, it's equipped. One muscle, Miss Kelly and Moxie. Let's go. Barely enchanted hat. He's... Did Pete just, like, freak the fuck out? Who are you? You walk up to the bar and wait patiently for the bartender to notice you. While you're waiting, you see a sign taped to the back wall reading, Reward for Lost Mugs, 25 meat each. Keep waiting. The bartender finally notices you. Howdy, cowgirl. Howdy, barkeep. Names you Marin because I was supposed to be a failer, but I somehow picked a female because I'm a retard. <laughs> what brings you to our little backwater? Ask about work. Oh, the usual. I came out west to make my fortune. Not having much luck so far, though. Any work around these parts? <laughs> Unfortunately, Boring Springs already has more people in it than jobs. It's more of an errand town, if you catch my meaning. If you're looking for a real job, I'd recommend uh, talking to the railroad people about dirt water. Uh, errands. Yeah, this forsaken burg is always falling apart in one way or another. The hostler is always needing help since he hurt his leg, and that no-count sheriff. Sheriff? Sheriff could certainly stand to have someone doing his job for him. Anything else? I've got a goblin loose in the basement. Some cowpoke in from the gulch didn't wipe his boots off and got spores everywhere. I could probably handle a goblin. Much obliged. I'll unlock the basement door for you. Oh, and you'll need this. Weak funding aside. There's this fella in the bar next to me. Well. Damn it. Well, might you sh <laughs> Might be you should ask him yourself, seeing as he's right there. He won't bite you. Or right here, rather. Who's that lady drinking whiskey out of the beer mug? That's Susie. She's a rancher from nearby. A real tough broad. I ain't recommend you pester her. Why's that? Lost her whole family to a cow attack recently. Got some pent-up frustrations about it. Ouch. Who are you? Howdy, I'm Yorin. Howdy, Yorin. I'm Horace. Nice to meet you. What do you do? I'm the town hostler. What the fuck's a hostler? I'm the town horse-selling guy. Gotcha. How's that working out for you? Oh, the horses are just flying out the door. So business is booming? Nice. No, I mean the horses keep running away. I haven't sold one in ages. Oh. Is that why you're here drinking instead? Uh, yep. And me being in here drinking instead of washing the horses is probably how they keep escaping. It's one of those vicious circle things. Well, I'm in need of a horse. Do you have any left? One. Kind of a boring one. But it's got four legs and a back to sit on. You can come see me, come see me at the stable. I'll be happy to show it to you. Okay. Susie. The woman glares at you. Howdy, Susie. Howdy, cowgirl. <laughs> Who's going to be searching the spittoon for her teeth if she don't leave me in peace? I was actually just in there. Okay, bye-bye then. Oh, no, I don't want to beat up the goblin yet. Boring Springs Gazette. Nurse Whiskey. We'll probably hit that goblin up later. Ow. Cactus hurts. Sheriff! Howdy. Howdy, stranger. Welcome to Boring Springs. I'm the sheriff in these parts. The what? He sighs. The sheriff, okay. Blasted sign painters. Oh, okay. So you wouldn't have to be looking for work, are you? Or would you? <clears throat> As a matter of fact, I am. Great, because I happen to have some. There's a gang of hoodlums around here that we call them, that, that call, <laughs> what call themselves the Fricker Gang. Last time I arrested one of them, they busted him out and took my cell door with them. I ain't a, or it ain't a, well, it ain't much good without the door. And, and I need somebody tough, smart, and or slick to go fetch it back for me. Why don't you do it? You're the sheriff, or I'll give it a shot, or, mm, I'll do it. Funny, funny you should say that, because I'm sending the deputy along with you to keep you out of trouble. He takes a pistol out of his desk and hands it to you. Deputy? You deputize the gun. You're new in town. Maybe you ain't noticed. There ain't much here to do except drink. Hey, let me write down where the Fricker Gang's hideout is for you. Alright, I'm out. I'll be back at the door. Oh, hey. Look, Mug. Mug. That's me. I, like, love all the cactuses. Pointy. Step right up, step right up. Braid's the name and trades the game. You obviously doubt his name is Braid. 
Are you seriously down as as Braid? Howdy. Braid, what are you trading? <laughs> well, madam, today I'm trading locks for soap and a stick of dynamite for a needle into the cunning skinner who brings me three rattlesnake hides. Well, to that adventurous soul, I will trade a silver pocket watch. I get dynamite for a needle, right? Hmm. I'm gonna trade right now, but it's interesting. Eek. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. Are you a fucking cactus man? Howdy, Cactus Man! Howdy yourself, my name's Bill. Cactus Bill. What happened to you, Bill? Well, to be honest, partner, I drank too much cactus beer and it turned me into a cactus. Doc Alice warned me this will happen, but I didn't listen. And that's why they call you Cactus Bill? No, that's just a coincidence. <laughs> oh, does it hurt? Does what hurt? You know, being a cactus? Oh, haha, -ha. no, it's actually kind of nice. The natural fermentation process is inside the cactus. Pardon me, keep me pretty drunk most of the time. I guess it is a mite boring. Yeah, I bet. Won't be so bad if I had something to read. You don't happen to have a newspaper or anything, do you? Ooh, I have a newspaper. You get a newspaper you found in the basement of the saloon. Much obliged, partner. Now, let's see here. <clears throat> let's see here. What can I do to return the favor? Oh, I know. My shovel. I left it behind the outhouse at Ore Hole Mine. It's yours if you go and get it. I'm sure you'll find a use for it. Then behind the outhouse or hole. Think, uh, got it. Thanks, Bill. Don't mention it. Now, if you could just kind of stick that newspaper to my face before you leave. Stick the newspaper to him. That's funny. What? Why am I not allowed in Topeka anymore? I need a shovel. So we have two quests to do. And a bunch of cactuses to walk into. Wait a minute, how do I leave? How do I leave? Oh, there's a map. Her, 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 her. Make your own damn guide to Boring Springs and its environs. We're going to the Fricker Gang's hideout. Thud Fricker, the Fricker Gang's intrepid lookout, appears to be taking a little nap. Uh, your brother. You poke Thud with your boot. He slowly gets to his feet. Hey, you're not supposed to be here. Thud is... Well, you say he's no Rhodes Scholar. Well, let's say he's no Rhodes Scholar. If we assume that it's seven years from now and that idiom makes sense, you feel kind of bad about the idea of killing him. Walk away, Thud. Thud, you don't want this life. Take a hike. Oh, okay, you're probably right. Thud stumbles off into the desert. He'll probably be fine. Honorable, you've got a strong moral compass and an accurate ethical protractor. Honorable options will be available in some scenarios. Okay, cool. That's dope as fuck. No, it isn't dope. That. Alright, that's better. Beer barrel cactus. Mug of cactus beer. That's dope. Pile of random stuff to your gang stole. Find the keepers. 25 meter recovered mug and a pair of silver cufflinks. If you wore fancier shirts, you might have some use for these. They look like I have a shirt. Fricker Games hideout inside. One of the Fricker boys is dozing in a bathtub. Wait, can I get soap out of him? Oh my god. Cautiously approach the Fricker gang. They're pretty engrossed in their poker game, so it doesn't actually require that much caution. You hide behind a barrel and eavesdrop on their conversation for a while. Don't want the eye patch is quiet, but you gather that his name is Snipe, and that the squirrely that the squir uh, squirely one is his brother Wimpy. What you play here? I'll talk to him. How do boys deal me in? The one without the eye patch raises an eyebrow at you. Who are you? How'd you get past Thud and Soapy? What do you want? Um here for the sheriff's door. I'll show you the door. The door to hell! 
He grabs his gun. Okay then, fight it is. You got to jump on him this time. Okay, barrel. That's a bean armor, or bean shield. And then, like, shoot him. <laughs> Fuck you, Rack. Do you not know how that gun works, dude? Point in goes at what you're shooting. Point in goes at what you're shooting. I guess it's not the point in. The leaders of the Fricker gang are dead by your hand. The sheriff will be proud of you. Though you're not sure how your mother would feel. Tell him to recover the door. And my mug. Oh, I didn't read that. A pile of the Fricker's ill-gotten gains. Take it. What a haul you gained, 50 meat. I dance happily way too often. How much XP do I have? 16? Oh, I can level stuff up. 10 XP for stuff. What's gumption? Your level of get up and get her done, the higher it is, the quicker you are. You get speed, AP, and spleen capacity. You get another speed if you level up. It's glamour. Help me. Tamper with the forces of nature, making your, you yourself a force of nature. Out foxing, you're smarter than a box of rocks. Foraging. You can forage basic goods, you can forge high quality goods. Well, that's interesting. What's glamour? Plus 10% to meat gains, plus 1 delivery capacity. Next level, I get plus 20 to meat gains, plus 5 to item uh, finding bonus, and plus 1 delivery. That's great. They must determine how much damage you can take from your knockdown. Oh, yeah. Wow. Well, it increases your HP, stomach, and pain. And stomach's how much you can eat before you go to sleep. I guess spleen is potions of the day. Okay. No. No, I was gonna say. Well, liver's obviously alcohol. It's Mr. Kelly. Let's increase our Mr. Kelly then, because we are a. We're a bean. 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 Bean slinger, that's what it's called. God damn. Oh, hold on, that was the door back here. Where's my mind, guys? Got the door. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Yuck. Yuck. Sheriff! I see the Fricker gang hadn't put a stop to your breathing. Did you rescue my cell door? You hand the sheriff his door and he hangs it back on its hinges. Nice work, stranger. This here prison cell just got about four times more secure. Are there any Fricker boys? Yeah, one or two that's still asleep on the job. I'll go round them up shortly. <coughs> shortly, then. Looks like I owe you a reward. He produces a big bag of meat. Ooh, big meat. Let's go. Got another little task for you. If you got the time, it should be a lot simpler than the last one. What do you need? Well, the frick has busted a lock when they took the door. I'm gonna need a new lock. I'll keep an eye out. What's back here? Just so happens that if I give him a slope, he'll give me a lock. There you go. Good thing I kept that needle, huh? <laughs> oh, I forgot to read the thing out, huh? I unlocked your cell for you. The sheriff walks to the cell, picks up the key, he looks around for a place to hide it, and eventually sticks it under his hat. Thank you kindly, stranger. Born Springs ever gets any more criminals, they better watch out. That's a good job you done. Don't mention it. He has this... Have this as a souvenir of your time in Bowen Springs. Got a, an item replica Sheriff badge. Thanks, Sheriff. What's it give me? One armor? That's not bad. For now. I don't want to. Afternoon, ma'am. What can I do for you? How's business? Oh, you know, every day I'm hustling. <coughs> I 
tell you the truth though, it's pretty terrible. All my horses keep running away. Well, except for this completely ordinary one. That's rough. Maybe I can help. Oh god, yes, thank you. Well, please, I'd go fetch them myself, except for this injury. I'll give you 300 me each for finding them. How many are there? Oh, hey, there you go. That's how you find stuff. Three. Here, let me see a map. They pretty much always run away to the same places. We got Orhole, Boring Springs Boneyard, and Thousand Snakes Gulch. Why these places? I think they like environments that are thematically appropriate. Here, when you find one, feed it some of these oats. That should send it back here. Bag of homing oats. How does that work? There's special pigeon infused oats. Okay. Will do. See you later. I'm just, I'm just browsing later, brother. Well, you sound about an injury. Busting out my knee while mucking about the showroom. Don't ask how it's embarrassing. I was gonna get Dr. Alice to look at it, but she gave up doctoring. Why'd she do that? Nobody knows. She just shut herself up in her office. Says she wouldn't talk to anybody except for Nurse Whiskey. Is that an actual nurse, or I'm pretty sure she was just being sarcastic. <laughs> Alright. Well, I mean, we picked up Nurse Whiskey. Maybe. They were very specific that it was Nurse Whiskey.